data structures. So there are lots of data structures already available in Java, in Java collections package for you to use. But here we're just gonna cover a few. So we're gonna take a look at array list, linked list, hash set, tree set, priority queue, hash map, or tree map. Ideally, you would need to go to official documentation online and read about all of the available collections because, well, the more you know about available collections, basically the bigger your toolbox will become when you're solving your algorithmical problems. So why does it matter to know different types of collections that are available? Well, that's because they have different big O time, big O complexity for different types of operation. So, for example, when you're using ArrayList and you want to insert an item, it's just a constant complexity operation, constant time. So it means that whenever you are inserting an item, you know that it's a really fast action. Well, and then, for example, if you want to delete an item from ArrayList, it can take up to on time, and that means that maybe you don't want to use this uh, operation inside a loop because that will kick quickly lead to n squared complexity, which will become really slow when the input is really big. And for example, when you are using linked list, again, it has a very quick operation for inserting data, and actually, it's really quick for iterating data. But if you want to delete an item, retrieve it by index. So retrieval by index on linked list is really slow. On the other hand, when you are inserting an item in the linked list, it's going to be always O constant operation. Unlike array list, where in most cases it's going to be O constant operation, constant time. But in some cases, when your input grows uh, outside the size of the array that's backing your array list, all of the items will need to be reallocated into new array list. Well, that's going to be done for you, but that one operation is going to be O N time and it might take a lot of time. Then again, hash sets are great for checking uh, existence for, of an item in the list. So for example, if you're just using a list to check if some item exists in your list, so maybe you should just go for hash set, which uh, provides O constant time operation for checking for existence. And tree sets are quite similar, but their access time is log n, and they are different from hash sets in a way that all the items there are ordered by some comparable interface or comparator. And then there is priority queue that allows you to take order items when they are being added to the queue. And then similarly, hash maps and tree maps well, can be used as a lookup tables as a performance optimization in some places where you just need to retrieve an item based on some key. So how do you choose one? How do you choose the collection that you would like to use in a specific case? So let's start just with a few guidelines. So array list is all around good choice. So if you're not sure what you need to use, just use ArrayList and it's going to be good. But for example, if you know that you are just inserting items in the list and it's just going to be iterated and the items there are not going to be accessed by a dot .get method, then maybe you should go for with the linked list. And for example, sets are good for testing existence of the item, finding unique elements in the list. So for example, you could just take a list, add out all of this items to the set and you know that in the end you will have just unique elements there and for example there are several trees available in java collections so there's tree set and tree map map is used for mapping elements from some key to a specific value while tree set is just a iteratable collection but both of them are quite fast uh, both of them provide log n time operations for example, tree set, you can use it for existence of an item. It basically will ensure that all the items are unique in the set. Well, on tree map, it's going to be retrieval of an item by its key. Well, and finally, all of the items in the trees are going to be ordered. So if you need for data to stay ordered as they are being inserted in the collection, so probably you should use trees. Maps are basically used as lookup tables. 
So if you need to constantly retrieve an element from some list, let's say by its key or ID, so you should go for hash map or tree map. And again, if you need for that hash map to be ordered, then you should probably go for tree map. Priority queue is great for storing k largest values. So what does that mean? And whenever you are inserting items to the priority queue, uh, they get automatically sorted. Well, depending on your choosing, and you can just uh, use it to retrieve k largest values. So you just let's say take top five elements from this priority queue, and you will know that all the operations will be really fast if you want to do this. And finally, it really depends on your specific use case. So if you identify that that specific piece of code is really slow, you have profiled it, then you can start thinking how could you use these collections to make the access time or element addition time smaller and thus making your algo more performant. Well, and in the next video, we're gonna start taking a look at the testing and Mokito framework.